Hey bougie babes, welcome and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, I am Santina. Welcome to my channel. Please join the bougie babe family by hitting that subscribe button. Leave a like on this video and a comment as well. I really suck when it comes to starting the vlog. So this is me doing an official introduction. I really do hope that you guys are having a wonderful weekend. So I have gotten up really early today from after 6 because I have a few errands. So I already had breakfast and all of that good stuff it's now after seven so i'm going to be going to the nursery location i had some other deliveries but i gave matthew being that i won't be able to drop it off with the appointment that i have i want to be downtown by eight and then the appointment is at nine o'clock so a little ootd i'm in a basic top and a simple jeans and that's it fresh face loving the fresh face as well i'm gonna just grab the package and then i'm gonna head out Twin, where have you been? <laughs> so this is the last one. So I am gonna be leaving out just now. Really don't want to be late for my appointment. So I'll chat with you guys while I'm on the road. Waiting on taxi. Hey guys, so it's the next day, it's Saturday, and I woke up pretty early today. So, by the way, I'm gonna look crazy. 
I was able to pull down my hair so I don't have on any hair under this just my natural hair I look really crazy so that's why I have the bonnet on I'm about to wash my hair I'm here procrastinating I need to wash and treat my hair it's after two but it's such a chill day it has been a very chill day i got up really early and just got what i needed to do i've already washed and i took up the clothes already from after 12. so tomorrow i won't have that to do i can also have a chill day tomorrow as well won't have to be rushing and stuff and then we can just go to church in a one piece so yeah guys yesterday was a mess so y'all had seen previously in the clips with me at the bank can you believe I spent almost four hours at the bank and I still did not get through. Getting like getting service done in Jamaica is really, really horrendous. I remember somebody saying there's no such thing as getting things done fast, even the fast food places. Like getting food at a fast food place, you will literally die for hunger. You don't have anything that's done in a timely manner. And they're so true because when you're overseas and you're trying to get services done, especially some simple things, you can literally go online and have it done. And if you're even going in the branch, they don't take this long. I don't know why I don't know why everything here is just so hard to get done if you're going to the bank no matter how early you go you're going to spend the whole entire day and I hate waiting like the thing is I don't like to wait like I hate waiting so if I can't get the first appointment like the earliest appointment and I know persons are gonna be ahead of me that's like the worst thing for me like literally I just want to get in and out effectively immediately and just done but that never worked so I went downtown to do the drop-off and then I came back so the lady was like oh I know that you need this as soon as possible the process takes an hour and a half because she was trying to upsell some business related thing and I was like it doesn't make any sense like I know my business I know my customers and stuff and she was trying to upsell something else so that it could make her life easier I feel like because she was like this is gonna take an hour and a half so if it's a case where you really want it as soon as possible she'd have another team reach out back to me and have me sign up for something else and I was like I know my customers and I know what works best for me and them based on the experience that I have been having with them and with the business so you were trying to upsell something else that would cost me more in the long run won't work all uh, because you want to get the thing done as soon as possible on your end so um she was saying that it was taken an hour and a half remember i got there at 9 a.m so i the timing i had was um an hour and a half so it'd be from 9 to 10 30 and i was hoping to just get everything done and then i could go do the drop off go back on my yard and get other things done she was like um you might have to come back because the customer was actually calling so i had to leave to do the drop off so the customer could get the item the same day and then she had advised that i should come back and then she would just push it for me so i was grateful and i thought that was a great idea hurry up and go down to and i'll come back when i went back she was with another client so obviously i went there so that she could see that i am there so stood at her window and i was there waiting the lady don't look upon me i know but i know that she saw that i was there but you know when people won't go upon them lunch break or whatever like i understand it's your work and you probably will have to take your lunch break or whatever but at least acknowledge me so that i know what to do and where i stand so i went to sit down in the lobby area and i was there waiting for almost 30 minutes so i'm like no man i went back and she wasn't there so I asked the security where she is and they advised that she's not on her lunch, she went somewhere else or whatever. So alright, so I was there still waiting another 20 minutes, didn't see her, had to go back to one of the other representatives when I asked for the person specifically. She was like, oh, she's on break. So I was like, um, I wish she had advised me so I didn't waste my time and come back because I have been back and forth and it's not my fault why I am still here. I've been early. I set an appointment in advance and at the same time, I'm going to get you because you guys are sloppy and you had designed a system where you can get the appointments for customers on your platform. If it doesn't work, then why do you guys have it on your website? Remove it because it's pointless. 
so i literally just wasted my day so i might have to go back like i was telling myself anything that i am having a challenge getting done or getting it's either not for me or it's the imperfect timing and i don't know if she even attempted to do it because i had already signed the documents and stuff i don't want to make mention of what i'm doing as yet until it's done because i realize that every time i talk about things before it's done it's either i have a challenge receiving it or I start to procrastinate and I don't get it done. So once it's completed, I make mention of that. So as I've mentioned, my hair is done. So I'm going to wash and treat it right now. I think I have decided that I'm going to just do it in a ponytail. I got the braid yesterday while I was on the road. So I feel like I'm going to just do a ponytail for now. Just for a short while. Because I think I'm going to have to like do a nicer style for next week. So that should probably last like four to five days. So I'm going to do that. So I won't have to get up and do it tomorrow. As well as if i'm going on the road tonight i won't have to focus on you know getting my hair done or wearing my natural hair because my hair right now it needs to be relaxed hey guys <laughs> so this is the hair i miss my hair can't catch up. It's the ponytail wasn't working out, so after washing, blow drying, and flatting my hair, it just was not cooperating. So when I put in the gel and everything, I had to just wash it out and blow dry my hair once more. Not sure how this is gonna go for tomorrow, and I didn't bother to go because I feel like crap and look like crap with my hair like this. So it could have hardly catch up <laughs> if really take some serious things make joke we're currently at kfc i'm waiting on matthew i am so hungry so we were supposed to go out tonight but that just mm. nah go work because y'all know that i'm gonna need the photos we can't look like this in the photos crazy so i'm gonna have to wake up early tomorrow and try to work on my hair in advance i don't know how it's gonna go but all right just switch your fires man tomorrow this way kfc need to go down look at this no like look man look at this that's all you know that's all that's crazy When I add it online. Mm -mm. Hey guys, so here's a very short tutorial on how I normally do my ponytail. So I did everything else off camera. So I'm using the 50 inch Ghana Express. So I doubled the hair and then attached it with a scrunchie. So usually I just take a little portion out so it can go over the hair once I'm done with it so basically just braiding all the way down and adding the hair as i go i wanted it a little bit long but not too long if you get what i mean and with a little body so that's me doing that that was a little bit challenging as well so i just added the parts that were a little bit detailed so you guys could have an idea was also going for a little curly end so i just used a little flexi rod to have that wrapped and I hot watered the hair off camera um, this is the last part I usually do this last just to cover the hair so it looks natural as possible tied it down before I showered and yeah voila. okay guys so I'm about to remove the flexi rods and I'm about to tie it down so Let's screw this. Put a flame here. So this, this is basically how it looks. So I'm about to get ready just now. I'm going to be doing the get ready with me so you guys can see my outfit. Nothing extra, something simple, but I'm going to do the get ready with me. Oh, 
okay guys so i'm just about to leave out hair slay is so cute so i'll chat with you guys later on hey booty babes so i'm just back from church church was really good so y'all know i'm gonna give y'all the little chit chat about church for those persons that are interested that is if you don't like talking about jesus then i don't know skip this part of the video but the scripture that was read was from genesis 32 22 to 28 so the main lesson that was taught today a lot of us are called by God we refuse to turn to him we are stiff naked and a lot of us might think our situation is worse than anybody else and God will not forgive us he won't look beyond that and bless us he won't turn us into the preachers the missionary the deacon all of that because of our past or our current situation whether it's a case where you're exceeding sin presumptuously whatever type of sin it is whether it's adultery fornication all of that good stuff and we feel like because of the way that we're living our lives god will not bless us and he doesn't want us in his presence and we might try to change that like we'll tell ourselves all right before the year done i'm going to stop fornicating i'm going to stop committing adultery i'm going to stop doing this that yada 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 but god is calling you as you are he's not calling you to fix your situation because you might try to fix the situation but at the end of the day it's not fixed in his eyes so going to church trying to find God for yourself because a lot of us grew up in Christian homes but we didn't know God for ourselves we were just going to church praying to God because we were taught to do it but we didn't find God for ourselves so now that we're grown and we want to make it right with God, we feel like our situation will compromise having that connection with God. But if you have a broken and a contrite spirit, that's what God needs. He looks at your heart, not at your situation. We might think that we can fix our situation, but at the end of the day, once you leave it up to God, He'll fix it for us. So we don't have to be concerned or worried on what's going to happen if I should turn over my life to Christ. The moment you turn over your life to Christ, you basically going to have a sense of peace. Certain situation that you might be in, no matter how tough that situation may seem, you're going to have a sense of peace over your life. You'll have a different perspective looking at things being that God is at the center of your life. You have Jesus within the Holy Spirit will basically teach you. You'll be humble, you'll be peaceful. So a lot of us might have a bunch of enemies and we might think like looking in, they will despise us, they'll hate us. But the Bible says that once you turn your life over to him, even your worst enemies, your enemy will be his enemies. Your adversaries will be his adversaries. Basically, once you have Jesus, you have everything. So once you start reading the Bible and you try getting to know God for your own self, praying to Him, seeking His face, you'll realize there are so many things there is to learn. And it's not just about going to church or thinking that persons in the church are hypocrites. You have to know what is best for yourself and how you're living your life. You're living your life to please God, not to please persons in the church, your friends or whoever. And no matter who you might think, people will look at you differently when you start to serve the Lord. And just show up as you are live the life that pleases the Lord and everything will start working out in your favor and guys I am speaking from experience the moment I have invited the Lord into my life I have been experiencing a lot of struggles but I still have a sense of peace knowing that my life is well with God I can go to him whenever I want because I am building that connection I want to have that stronger bond with him because at the end of the day once you start following his commandments he'll bless you immensely and i want my friends my family everybody that are acquainted with me to know the lord for themselves that's basically it i i'm gonna start cooking like i didn't prep i just soak the peas and the big tail cooking still peas today so i'm gonna change and shower and then i'm gonna head in the kitchen the battery is about to die actually i might show you guys some snippets of what i'm cooking or i'll just have that in another vlog i'm gonna be editing the video for today so i'm gonna be closing out the vlog right here it's really short but i do hope that you guys had enjoyed it i'm really really sorry for having it so short but i'll make it up to you for the upcoming vlog thank you guys so much for watching Don't don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See y'all in next week's vlog. Bye, Pooji Babes.